This is Loopline, and I was wondering how fast the Scrapebox 2.0 harvester for harvesting search engine results actually was. So I grabbed a thousand ports from a BackConnect proxy provider, and a BackConnect proxy is basically just where they give you a fixed IP address and a port, and then they rotate the IPs on the back end, so your IP stays the same that you connect with, but every 10 minutes I get a new IP address, so if it burns out in Google, then I'm automatically gonna get a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these proxies, and then I'm gonna go ahead and load them here into Scrapebox. I'm gonna go ahead and grab in some keywords, and these are just 300,000 English keywords that came from a list that I bought off a forum. Let's randomize these. And then I have modified the Scrapebox INI file. By default, you can only harvest at 200 connections. And I went ahead and turned off server proxies, by the way. And I modified this to harvest at 3,500 connections. So not something that you should do unless you know what you're doing, but I will show you at the end of the video how to modify the INI file if you wanna go faster. Bearing in mind that if you modify the INI file, and you change the connections to higher than 200, it could cause Scrapebox to crash. Your Windows may not like Windows messaging being flooded with all of those connections, and I have had issues on this machine, which is a dedicated server, at 3,500 connections and testing where it just locks up. So bear that in mind. If you modify the connections beyond what is set, that may cause issues and that really isn't Scrapebox's fault because you're pushing the program farther than it was built to go, but let's do it anyways for the fun of it. So I've got Google checked off and let's hit start and we'll give it a second here. It does take a moment to get 3,500 connections all up and running. So you can see the URLs climbing. I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll come back when it's about a minute in and see what we can get. Actually, let's check one thing first. So while it's doing that, if I wanted to harvest 1 million URLs per a minute. So let's see, 1 million, yeah, 1 million URLs per minute. So I'm gonna divide that by 60 seconds. I need to be harvesting at 16,666 URLs per second. So let's see if we can get Scrapebox up to harvesting an average of 16,666 URLs per second because that will be harvesting at 1 million URLs per minute from Google. So just checking in, we are at 13,700 URLs per second and climbing. And I'll pause the video and let it see if it gets higher. So actually the last test failed. Uh, if you look at the time, I had to go back and start over actually because apparently setting them as socks is not faster. I had to change them to non-socks, just standard HTTP pro proxies. And we are at 16,000, we need 16,666 and we've got 16,600 and there we go, 16,694, 16,700 and climbing. A little while ago I had it at 19,000 URLs per second and I just stopped it because I didn't need it. So um, we are a minute and 30 seconds in and we've got um, 1.6 million URLs almost at a minute and 36 seconds. And so that is how fast Scrapebox can actually go. Now I haven't tried to turn the threads above 3,500. I suppose I could go 4,000, 5,000 uh, and that sort of thing. But of course at some point I'm going to burn the IPs faster than I am going to get results. And long term, you're not going to probably maintain a million URLs per second uh, at 3,500 connections with only a thousand proxies. You would probably need uh, two or three thousand proxies. And so we're a couple minutes in. You can see it's falling a little bit. Um, we are on the back end of our 10 minutes because it's the 10 minute IP rotation time. So the speed will go down some. And then um, once the IPs rotate out, then the speed will go back up. And like I said, I had it up to 19,000 URLs, but um, I burnt up some of the IPs running them as socks and then changed it over to HTTP. And so anyways, we made up to a million URLs per a minute and this is gonna go back down and then here in a few minutes, it will start going back up, but I'm not gonna wait for that. Let's go look at the Scrapebox INI file and see where we're at here. If we open up Scrapebox and we go into our main Scrapebox folder and then configuration folder, we have Scrapebox INI. And if you open it up and go down here to the harvester section, you can see connections. Now you can change these to whatever you want. I would not mess with anything in here. I wouldn't even mess recommend going to above 200 connections, but if you wanna test to see if Scrapebox can do a certain thing, you can change the connections. 
And when you're done, obviously save it. You need to do this with Scrapebox closed down. Save the INI file, then open Scrapebox back up, and just make sure that you don't go into this connections and timeout section, because if you do, it will trigger a reset and will erase what you did in the INI file. However, if you want to test with Scrapebox, you're more than welcome to do that. Again, if it fails, it's not the program's fault because it's not built with that sort of scalability in mind. Um, although I have had great success running massive connections in the Harvester with Scrapebox over a long period of time, especially with Google. A final note is that these are just basic keywords. I wanted to run a test to see how fast Scrapebox can go. We did get a million URLs per minute, but they're going to yield all kinds of random results. I have got exponentially fast speeds using advanced operators and other sorts of things, but if you load in a bunch of keywords and footprints that have very few or no results for a lot of the combinations, then that's going to slow down the overall speed. Your proxies have an effect on your speed, your total configuration of Scrapebox and your bandwidth and the, the speed of your machine, if it can't handle that many connections, it all can have a, a bearing on the speed itself. So basically I'm trying to say that mileage may vary. This is a test in optimal conditions and just to show that Scrapebox can go very fast, but the way you set it up is going to make a difference on how you use things. Also, there are other engines included with Scrapebox. The Deeper Web is a great engine that goes really fast. Bing is pretty fast, um, and different engines are going to vary on their speed, though. The other thing that I'm sure a million people are going to ask me is what service I was using. I'll stick the link down to that in the notes below, but Scrapebox on their website has recommendations for various private proxy providers, um, as well as even some public proxy providers and that sort of thing. So obviously you could use public proxies to go very fast as well, and I have used public proxies in tests if you have enough of them to go very fast as well. And that is the answer to the question of whether or not Scrapebox can harvest over a million URLs per minute.